Hey everyone and welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we'll be discussing the left and right sum differences problem. So this problem involves finding the absolute difference between the sum of the element on the left side and the sum of the element on the right side. So let's have a look on the example, then it will be even clear. So we are given an array like this with four elements. So 10, 4, 8, 3. So let me quickly write, write it here. So 10, 4, 8, 3. And for this array, we first need to calculate the left sum, right? Now, how can we calculate the left sum? It says that left sum is the sum of the element on the left of an index i. So if I'm standing over here, all the elements on its left will be considered as the left part, and all the elements on its right will be considered as the right part, right? So so what will be the what will be the left sum for this four it will be 10 right so the left sum will be 10 but it also says that if there is no such element on that case it will be zero that's why because i is the first element that means it doesn't have anything on its left that's why we are putting zero over here right so what will be the left sum for this eight it will be 10 plus 4, that is 14, right? And for this one, it will be 22. Similar way, we can also calculate the right sum. Okay, so the right sum will be 15 for the first index, right? So that is 4 plus 8 plus 3, this 3, right? And after that, it will be 11, 8 plus 3, 11, and then it will be 3, and in the end, it will be 0, right? So once we have actually calculated this left sum and right sum, then we can actually, will be able to determine the differences that the question was asking. So if we look over here, the left difference between these two will be 15 for the first index. For the second one, it will be 11 minus 10, that is one, 14 minus three, 11, and the last one will be 22. So this is the ultimate result that we need to return. Now, we'll try to convert this knowledge into actual code. So, let me quickly write down the main steps that we'll be doing. Okay, so we'll first uh, try to calculate the left prefix sum. Okay. After that, we'll be calculating the right prefix sum. And in the end, uh, we'll take the absolute difference between between these two, okay? ABS if between left and right sum. Okay, so this will be what th this is what we'll be doing, okay? So, okay, so okay, let me start coding. Okay, so uh, I'll start by uh, defining a few variables actually, right? So let's define uh, one variable. So this will be the left sum um, that will be actually holding all the left sum prefix. Okay. And also declare one other variable called res. This will be the ultimate result. Okay. So, okay, so how can we actually generate the left sum? Right. So this is what we'll be doing right now. So we can just run a loop from the first position to the last position, right? So i less than nonce dot size i plus plus right and within this uh, within this loop what we'll be doing is we'll be pushing uh, into this l sum okay so l sum dot push back okay and what we'll be pushing we'll be pushing whatever we have in the okay I think we also need to declare another um, variable let's call it sum okay this will be the local sum right. So this is what we'll be uh, pushing. So right now, for the first case, um, this will actually um, insert zero, right? Once after that, what we'll be doing is we'll be updating this sum with the current variable i, right? Okay, let me also make some optimizations over here. So let's define a variable for this jet, okay? Okay. 
So once we have actually calculated the left, left prefix sum, then our task is to calculate the right prefix sum, right? Okay, so for that we also have to uh, clear the, we also have to uh, reset the, this variable, right? Because because last time we have updated over here, so we want to reset it before uh, reuse, reusing this thing, right? Also, we like to declare the another, um, another vector or another um, array, so, and with some with some uh, default value. So in this case, we're setting all the value as zero, right? And this time, instead of uh, pars parsing or iterating from left to right will be iterating from right to left, okay? I go n minus 1, i is greater than 0, i minus 1, right? Okay. And here, we can this. Actually, we have to update this. Okay, so so this code will actually generate the right prefix sounds, right? This is similar to this one, just like the same one. And after that, we just have to calculate the or take the absolute difference between these two, right? And we can do it just by running another loop. And just we can just push everything in the result set like this. L sum and R sum. Yeah, I think this is pretty much everything that we have to do. Let's quickly run to see if it has any error. I think everything looks good, so let me quickly submit it. Okay, so that's pretty much everything for today. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.